Hey everyone, welcome to Fun Food Fashion. Another episode, another new recipe. Today I'm going to share with you one more fish recipe using the most common and underrated fish in Bengal, that is rohu fish or rui mach. Even though it is consumed by the Bengalis every day, but it does not get any respect when it comes to occasion or restaurant style food because it's very common and underrated. So I'm going to share with you my recipe of Rui Madhuri and make this very underrated fish restaurant style. So without further saying, let's get started. But first thing first, hit the subscribe button if you are new and press the bell icon so that you never miss an update on my channel. Now start making Rui Madhuri and see how you can transform a rohu fish, common rohu fish into a occasional friendly fish. For that, here. In a karhai, I have taken two tablespoons of vegetable oil. Now it's nice and hot. I have added one large onion which I have sliced. And with that I have added six, seven cloves of garlic. Whole garlic. Don't need to chop them. Next goes half inch of ginger, roughly chopped. Next goes four green chilies that also roughly chopped and tomato here i'm using one medium sized tomato which i have roughly chopped i have roughly chopped uh, every veggies because i'm going to grind them into paste later now i'm going to fry them over medium flame for five minutes after five minutes we're back and now i have added one teaspoon of lemon zest here i have uh, added or used gondhuraj lemon which is very famous in bengal so it's done within one to two minutes it's done now i'm going to cool it down and grind it into smooth paste so meanwhile here i'm going to marinate the fish here i have taken four pieces of rohu fish i have added one teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of black pepper powder and I'm using the same Gondoraj lemon of which zest I have used. So one teaspoon of Gondoraj lemon. Now rub it nicely on both the sides of the fish and marinate the fish with black pepper, salt and Gondoraj lemon and keep it marinated for at least 10 minutes. So let them marinate for 10 minutes. Meanwhile, I'm going to grind the Grind the masala into paste. So we are back. Now I'm going to fry the fish. So here in our frying pan, I have taken three tablespoons of vegetable oil. Now it's nice and hot. Oops, sorry. Now I have added the marinated fish. Be careful. Don't do whatever I have done. It just slipped from my, you know, spoon. So over high flame, I'm going to fry them for like seven, eight minutes because I'm going to fry them quite nicely. So after five, uh, seven, eight minutes, we are back. And as you can see, they are nicely fried. So this kind of frying is needed. As you can see, they are quite brown and quite tough. So it's done. Now, in the same karai in which we have fried the onions and other veggies, I have added one teaspoon of ghee. Sorry, one tablespoon actually I have added. Next, I am going to add the ground masala paste, the onion, green chilies lemon zest, ginger and garlic tomatoes that I had fried. I have ground them into paste. Now I'm going to cook them over medium flame for 5-6 minutes stirring it every now and then so that they don't get burned. So after 5-6 minutes as you can see they have started to release oil. Add 1 4 teaspoon of garam masala and 1 4 teaspoon of cumin powder and mix them. This is a very healthy recipe because we don't, we are not using any more spices, very less spices are used in here. 
नेक्स्ट को वॉज टू टेबल स्पून ऑफ ग्रेटेड कोकोनट एंड मिक्स दम एज वेल एंड ओवर मीडियम फ्लेम आई एम गोइंग टू कुक कुक दम फॉर अ मिनट देन एड सॉल्ट अकॉर्डिंग टू योर टेस्ट मिक्स इट एंड कीप ऑन स्टर्डिंग इट so that the masala doesn't burn okay so it's been a minute now it, as you can see it's quite done so here i have added 3/4 cup of coconut milk it is homemade coconut milk so now mix the masala with the coconut milk nicely Okay now I'm going to let it simmer for a minute over high flame After that I'm going to add some water So it's been simmering over high flame for a minute now here goes 1 cup of water Let it come to boil over high flame as well. So it's boiling up now. I'm going to add the fried fish into the gravy. So here it goes. After adding the fish, don't uh, flip them so much because they will be broken. Then we don't want to break down the fish. so be very gentle at this stage and cook them over high flame for 6 to 7 minutes we need a thick gravy for this so after 6 7 minutes we are back and as you can see the gravy has thickened quite nicely now i am going to add honey 2 teaspoon of honey it's going to be quite sweet and salty mostly sweeter uh on the side so mix it and i'm going to dry it up the gravy a little bit more for 2 minutes now after 2 minutes it's done this is the perfect consistency of the gravy now i'm going to plate it so here i have plated it and garnish it with some coriander leaves and some grated coconut serve it hot with normal steamed rice hot steamed rice or some bengali pulao or bengali ghee bhat and your lunch is sorted your guest will talk about this recipe for like ever and ever forever actually so without further saying bye but don't forget to like share and comment on the comment section below thank you